Hi everyone, this is Boom, Bleat, whatever you want to call me, and I finally decided to make a video on helping you with your chipset sprite sheet in your image problems, because one thing that is kind of annoying with RPG Maker is that it won't accept certain images, and it won't accept certain image files. So, what I'm going to do is pretty much just explain this for you and show you how I get all of my graphics into my game without them corrupting. So, first of all, what does a normal corruption look like? Well, a normal corruption here, we'll just show you what like it looks like. Okay, so, say that you finish this chipset. You're like, oh, I've drawn everything. Everything's nicely done. I can finally put it in my game and work with it. And you have no stray purple color, like purple's the background color, which you need. You have no stray colors or anything like that. You're like, okay, great. This is ready to be put in my game. So you go to save it and make sure you always save it as PNG for one thing. Um, so you go to save it and you're like, all right, this is done. This is complete. I can put it in my game. And you go to your database or wherever you're going to put your image and you're like, okay, it's complete. Here's my chipset that I just made. And you click it and there's nothing there. And you're like, okay. And there's absolutely nothing displaying. This means that RPG Maker cannot read your file, cannot read your image or whatever it is. And the reason is because there's a specific type of color mode that you need to put your image in for it to work properly in RPG Maker. So I'm going to show you what I do on Photoshop to make the image compatible with RPG Maker. So we saved it and it didn't work and we're confused. What you're supposed to do if you have Photoshop, you're supposed to go to Image, Mode, Index Color. You save every single chipset, sprite sheet, um, panels, <laughs> face sets, any single Im any image that you make, you save as index color. And for me, I always save my images in local selective indexed color. Um, I don't force transparency. I don't force anything. I just colors 256, forced none, transparency zero. That's it. That's what I save my image as. And I go, okay, now it's an index color. And now I save it. And then I go to RPG Maker, I open this up, and I this is the one that we're doing on outer copy. Click it, oh look, it's displaying, it's not all black. And when you click OK, it's displaying absolutely perfectly and there's nothing wrong with it. This is the image that, this is the type of um, color mode that you need for your graphics. And the best part I've heard some people say that they can't get every single color they want. Um, like when they convert it to index mode, that it doesn't preserve every single color that they want to use, that it changes their colors funny. But I've never experienced that problem. And as you can see with the dollhouse chipset, there are tons of different colors in here. And I've never had the problem of RPG Maker toning down my colors or changing my colors with, um, with the method that I save it as, which is image, we'll do it again, image, mode, index color, and then specifically image mode, index color, local selective. That's how I've always saved every single chipset I've ever made for Flesh Child and The Looking Glass, and I've never had to compromise with color. There have been times where I have, and I'll show you um, a chipset where I have had to compromise. And um, and you'll probably, maybe you'll understand it better if you see what I mean. So I'm just gonna go into The Looking Glass real quick. And um, one chipset that the colors kind of turn out funny is let's see if I can find it. This is a mess. Um, where did it go? Is the sewers right? Yeah, the sewers. And um, you can kind of see. I don't know if you can see it now, but 
I can see where my colors kind of mess up and they look um, blocky and they have, if you can see it, they have lines going through them and everything. That's a compromising color. And that's because um, index mode and index mode colors aren't really good for really soft gradients like this, like what I have in the sewers. Index mode and most of RPG Maker 2003, RPG Maker 2003 graphics prefer is um, basically they prefer dithering and they prefer the game actually prefers um, a bit more blatant shading, I guess you could say. Um, I know this isn't true for all of them because uh, let's see here. Like this right here, the colors are a lot more modeled and they're not dithered really nicely like this. But um, when you do gradients and you make it such a soft gradient, like we saw with um, the sewers, if you make it so soft, it's going to corrupt your images a little bit. So that's why I think pixel art is a really good, like a pixel art with dithering is a really good idea rather than going for this kind of soft shading that you see. Anyway, <laughs> I was on a bit of a tangent there. Um, so not all of you may have Photoshop. For whatever reasons that may be, um, many people probably don't want to download it, <laughs> which makes sense. Um, so if you do not have Photoshop and you're like, how do I change this? I Googled it and the only alternative I could find was GIMP. GIMP is a free art program, probably a lot of you know this already, and you download it and you can do the same exact thing on GIMP, is go to the image setting mode index and I'll link this to you. I'll put it on um, the Tumblr post and I'll put it on the YouTube description and probably in the video itself. I'll link this um, tutorial right here and you do the same exact thing. You go image mode index and I have never um, used GIMP before when it comes to RPG Maker. I've never used it, so I can't tell you if it's going to do exactly what um, Photoshop does for me and Flesh Child and the Looking Glass, but hopefully this method will work because it's free and I have a tutorial right here for you. So all this is now said and done. Hopefully all of you people, okay, hopefully all of you who are making games and are having trouble with images will finally uh, find a resolution this way. So um, thank you for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me wherever on Tumblr or um, on YouTube and I'll see you guys later. Bye.